Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceOnRestore.com. I'd like to share with you a brief update. This is the 1949 Chev short bed step side truck. Um, we're behind in doing video, so I apologize. We've done uh, basically a granite restoration on it. In previous videos, we had this 49 truck frame uh, on a rotisserie. We media blasted it, and basically uh, every nut and every bolt has been redone. So we're just going to give you an update. The client lives very far away and we just wanted to show him um, how nicely it's coming together right now so the camera person can come a little bit closer. Uh, we were hoping the sun was going to be out but it looks like there's a, another rain cloud coming. Um, so this is a special custom paint that we did and what we'll do is we'll have to make sure we bring the truck back out again uh, when the sun comes out because this is a uh, custom color. It's uh, basically uh, root beer metallic and it's got a lot of pearl and sparkle metallic in it. You just won't believe me right now because uh, it's overcast and, uh, and it's not really showing the brilliance of the, of the metallic. But you can see we did some nice touches. So we've got upgraded radial tires. Uh, they're a Bridgestone all season radial. Uh, we've converted the front drum brakes to a disc brake. Um, and then we have the authentic rims and the authentic hubcap and then uh, we cut the vinyl uh, lettering to highlight the Chevrolet in the triple plated chrome cap. So um, they never had this from the factory. It was always just uh, stamped in, but I liked having the, uh, the vinyl feature, having the Chevrolet with the old school uh, lettering. And then we have the uh, trim ring with the grooves in it. And then you can see we have the, uh, the cab obviously is painted, the front vent. Uh, we've got the fender lace going between the cab and the fender. This nice uh, vinyl, they call it leather, but it's a, a high quality vinyl uh, that goes between so the fender doesn't scrub. Uh, we're working on the running boards right now. Uh, you can see we've got the doors hanging and they're, they're semi-adjusted. We'll be doing some more adjusting on it. Um, we've got the speedometer all rebuilt and installed with the new needle. And you can see the dash is painted the same color to match. We've got some wiring uh, running and going and we'll just basically go around the truck a little bit. Uh, to show you a couple of neat little things too, but as we come this way um, We just brought it outside because it's so loud in the shop. We have this nice line X uh, bed liner material that the client asked for they may have dogs in the back And what we've done is we've done all the body work as if we were going to paint the truck bed uh, This same shiny color so we didn't cheat in any of the body work um, but we, we have this nice uh, line X bed liner and it's wrapped around and there's a masking line underneath. So then we're thinking if we have uh, dog claws or paws on the end, it's not gonna hurt the paint finish. You can see how nice the back fenders look too with this, uh, with the metallic. It's just a shame that um, uh, the sun's not out, but never seems to cooperate for us. And you can see the nice feature of the truck bed. Hopefully that shows up well with the camera. So you can see we have the uh, solid hardwood oak uh, wood bed floor. We've got the high polished stainless steel uh, strips and then we have stainless polished hardware. So we're not going to have any concerns about rusting. And we have the correct widths um, just like they did in the factory uh, with the upgraded wood wider to thinner. And then you can even see the attention to detail on the sides. Um, those are the, the bolts for the uh, bolting the rear fenders on. And those are factory correct. I don't know if you can catch it with the camera, but they have the special head uh, that takes a special screwdriver. So that's original for 49. And then they're a stainless bolt with stainless hardware um, bolting on the rear fender. So the, the client wanted to have a light stain. So we stained, the camera person should probably show the wood as I'm talking about the wood. So um, we did a really nice light stain. And then uh, we've got, I think it's, um, there's a total of nine coats of automotive clear coat. We did six coats on the bottom, and then we've got nine on the top. So we basically laid three coats of clear coat, and then we wet sanded it, and then we laid another three coats of clear, and then wet sanded it, and then did the final three coats of clear, and it hasn't been final polished yet. And this finish looks just basically like furniture or like your refinished hardwood floors in your home. So I really like the way that turned out. I think it's a nice contrast with this light stain with the, uh, the root beer metallic paint and the nice contrast with the black bed liner. When we come around this side, we've got a bunch of junk in our way. 
Um, we come around the front, we have um, the headlight pots are, are sandblasted and powder coated. We have all the wiring ready and we're just ready for all the trim to come. We've got a brand new front grille coming. We've got brand new chrome trim ring. We're going to upgrade the, the halogen lights and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and when we come to this side on the firewall, you can see the, the firewall's finished just as well as the rest of the vehicle is. Uh, we've rebuilt the, um, the heater motor and it's installed and we've sandblasted and powder coated. They're all dusty. Uh, sandblasted and powder coated uh, with a satin finish. The hood hinges and then when we open the um, passenger door here, I'll show you a couple of neat things if I can get my fat head out of the way. Um, if the camera person can just kind of show the gas tank in the back. So that's an original 49 gas tank. We sent it to our gas tank people. They steam cleaned the inside. Um, they tested it. Everything was fine. There's one minor repair and they relined the inside. And then we've sandblasted and powder coated um, all of the fasteners. And we've sandblasted and powder coated this big nozzle that goes through the cab. We just haven't got this hooked up yet. Um, and then we'll be cleaning this up and then this is all going to have some uh, some nice finished material on the inside. And then if the camera person points the other way towards the front of the dash, you can see the heater box and the detail in the heater box. So the back portion that's shiny at the, at the upper level, that is the um, obviously the duct work for the ventilation um, and the, the heater motor or the fan motor with the squirrel cages inside it. We took all of those components apart we sandblasted them to bare metal, and then that's powder coated high gloss black. And I'm not sure if the camera will be able to, to pick up on this, but this front part, this is a hammer tone effect. And it's virtually identical to what they did in these uh, heater boxes. So this you see in the truck. So there'll be some um, vinyl on the flooring and it'll be black. There'll be a black panel that goes in here, but you see the hammer tone and you see these stainless screws. And then there'll be a glove box door he here that's painted to match, but you will see all of this. You'll see that heater box. There'll be a Chevrolet nameplate that goes on here. And this hammer tone we've replicated virtually identical to what they did. It's very hard to do that, and believe it or not, that was done in our powder coating division. So we really like the way that turned out. And then you can see the authentic. Uh, we've got the new rubber gasket. Once we um, set up all of the hoses, this will be sitting at the correct location. And then the back fender, we've got the bedside. All the bodywork is done. The bodywork done on the fenders, and we have the uh, lace along here too. Uh, so there's no scrubbing and flexing between the fender and the, and the truck bed. But the overall look, especially with the wood here, is just a shame that it's so dark and overcast. Um, because you'll be able to see the grains in the wood quite nicely and uh, the complement together with this, uh, with this nice paint finish. So uh, just a quick update, this is the 1949 Chevrolet short bed step side truck. I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoStore.com.